New tonight, a former Chair Ho High School student and her parents have filed a lawsuit against the school district and the state following an incident involving silly string. Yeah, they say an attack during a celebration left her with a seizure disorder. Iowa News News reporter Caroline Goggin is in the newsroom now with the details. Well, Stephen Shannon, the incident happened back in October of 2015. It started as a fun school celebration, but one family tells us it took a violent turn. It was supposed to be a day of celebration, a pep rally at Cherroho High School. Students had silly string and they were spraying each other in the gym. But for Kelsey Zell, she says a fellow student took the spraying personally, and that's when the fun turned into assault. I felt like a phone kind of hit the back of my head three or four times. Zell and her family have filed a lawsuit against the Cherroho Regional School District, naming its superintendent and other school officials for their alleged handling of the incident. One thing that's very important is um, the lack of, of medical attention that Kelsey received. It took hours and hours and it took me intervening to get the situation with her concussion addressed. I was diagnosed with um, a seizure disorder. I have complex partial epilepsy. They think it came from my concussion. Kelsey was also suspended from school. We spent pretty much the last two years appealing this through the administrative pr process. And um, we've exhausted our options. I mean, really, as we went through this, the goal was to get the suspension off of her record so that she wouldn't have issues when she applied to college. In a statement to Eyewitness News, school superintendent Barry and, Ritchie um, says, quote, for as long as I'm superintendent, there will be one code of conduct that applies equally and equitably to all students. There will not be a separate code for those who plan to go to college. I look forward to court proceedings in this matter where the school district will dispute the claim and statements put forth by the former student, her family, and their attorney. We believe that what our daughter has, you know, what our daughter is accused of doing does not warrant the punishment that she received. So the Zell family and the school will have their day in court. Kelsey graduated from high school this month. She does intend on going to college. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.